Hello everyone, my name is Abby and I am the Young Adult Assistant at the Twin Lakes Library System and I use she, her pronouns. So today for a slice of life I'm actually going to be kind of talking about something a little different and you might have not heard of it before, um, but it's called booktube and uh, this is basically what got me back into reading when I was in middle school when I found this. Um, but booktube is basically a side of YouTube um, where people go and they put specific emphasis on reading books. Um, so it's a whole community that's built on book reading and book writing and uh, you know they have created all these different like reading tags that are really interesting where you pick different books that fit different topics. Um, there are a bunch of readathons that have been created through um, booktube that a lot of people participate um, and it's just nice because there's like a larger community of readers that you can look to whether or not you want recommendations kind of like what we do with must read monday um or if you like vlogs or if you just like seeing the tags or you like following along or if you want to potentially do like a virtual book club but not necessarily have all of the um you know requirements and the stress of having to meet in person you can follow along with the virtual booktube book uh, club that a lot of creators do. Um, so I'm just gonna do a really, like this video probably not gonna be super long, but it's just gonna be a little video where I'm talking a little bit about some of my favorite booktubers. Um, all of these booktubers re read YA. Um, some of them do read more adult um, literary fiction and fantasies and sci-fi, um, but all of them do read YA. So. Um, I did want to be clear about that <laughs> when I'm talking about them. Um, yeah, so I have five here um, that I really enjoy watching. Um, I watch their content pretty avidly. Um, the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Regan from um, Peru's Project, and she is my favorite booktuber. I watch her all the time. Um, I've been following her since I first started booktube, um, which is a long time. Go. Um, and I just think she's like really fun. Um, she's she is like has a real job and is like fully college graduate and is out there like doing her thing. But she is a very pro prolific reader, um, and she likes sharing that with people. So she always shares um, her book recommendations and her book picks and her wrap ups, um, her TBRs, which are the to be read list. Um, and she is a big fan of fantasy books. Um, so if you're looking for really good fantasy recommendations, Regan is definitely one of the booktubers I would recommend for that. Um, she always finds really cool fantasies. Um, she always explains them really well and then makes them sound super interesting and makes me want to read them. Um, and I just think she's like a lot of fun to follow. Um, particular, I think uh, what's notable is she does these weekend reading vlogs because she has um, a pretty hard job. Uh, she doesn't do a lot of like in the week reading it seems like but during uh, the weekend she just fills it with reading. So she does like every weekend basically she does a reading vlog and she you just follow her on her weekend. Um, she's usually eating hot Cheetos and reading books and she somehow manages to get over like 500 pages read. Um, every weekend, which I think is pretty incredible, but she has really cool fantasy recommendations, so I would definitely recommend her. Um, the next person I'm going to talk about is Chloe from Books with Chloe. So Chloe is an Australian booktuber, um, and she, I think I started watching her about a year ago, a year or two ago maybe, um, and I really like her recommendation. She also is a big fantasy reader. I think she reads Regan used to read a lot of YA, but now that she um, has gotten a little older, she's veered away from that. Not that age is the determiner of whether or not you can read YA. She's just chosen to read other things. Um, but Chloe reads a lot more YA, I think, than Regan does. So I think if you're looking for a lot more YA recommendations, um, Chloe would be a really good option. Um, she does read a lot of manga, too, which is cool. She has really cool spooky, dark manga recommendations that she does. And she also does... Um, reading vlogs that are fun to follow and you kind of follow her life in those too. Um, she hosts a book club I know um, with some other booktubers 
that she's friends with that's really fun and they pick a book like every month and they read something um and then what else what else she has really cool bookshelves um they're really well decorated and they're cool to look at and she always shows them and then she does a lot of um book subscription unboxings uh which is if you don't know what those are it's like um some companies i think fairy loot is a very popular one they do book subscription boxes where you pay like a certain amount of money every month for the subscription and they send you a new like release hardback book and you can get like book merchandise from a variety of different books um i don't subscribe to any of them but they're fun to watch um other people who do subscribe to them and see what kind of merchandise is made for them um so that's cool and i think chloe does a lot of those the next person that I'm going to talk about is Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles. Um, I've also been following her for about a year, I think. I really like her. She's very positive. Um, and she always, like, she's usually smiling in her videos. And it just puts you in a good mood when you watch her. Um, but she also is a big um, YA fan. She also, like... I feel like she shows sometimes why that I don't feel like necessarily gets talked about very much. Um, her bit, her favorite book series is The Raven Cycle, which Dabney did a book talk on, and like they love it <laughs> so much. Um, and I'm currently reading the last one, and I think it's a really great series. But now I really love <laughs> The Raven Cycle. It's her favorite book series, I think. Um, and she talks about that, but she also talks about some like underhyped fantasy YA recommendations that I wouldn't necessarily have thought about reading or would have picked up on my own. So it's nice to see those kind of um, recommendations, and I really appreciate that. And of course, um, Naya also uh, she does book blogs as well, and she you know talks about different things she reads. I won't. I don't think she updates as often as some of the other booktubers I'm talking about but I do think she's fun to watch and she has a good mix of like short content so if you don't have a lot of time you can watch something short or she has something really long um, if you want to like eat a snack and watch her so I think she's a fun one. Um, and then the next one I have oh I hope I don't butcher her name I'm really sorry if I do it's um it's believe I believe it's Janine 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 um from this story ain't over um and I found her very recently it's been like maybe six months I think um and she's a newer booktuber as well but like has grown a wide audience for good reason it's because she has great recommendations also a big YA reader um she talks about K-pop sometimes, which I am a K-pop fan, so I really liked um, seeing that. Chloe also talks about K-pop. Um, she likes the same group as me, so I enjoy watching her videos when she mentions it, and she does, like, Bloody Journal, where she shows her K-pop spreads. But anyways, um, uh, uh, Janine is um, a fun one. She's a cool one to follow. Um, recently, she did a video where she reread the Ember in the Ashes series, which I think Dabney has talked about on here. That's like one of my favorite series of all time. Um, the last book is coming out this year and I'm so excited. But um, she recently did a reread of those and she like filmed it and shared a video about it. And I just thought it was so much fun and it was like 40 reasons why you should read an Ember in the Ashes or something. I can't remember the exact video, but it was really cool and I liked seeing it and I liked her highlighting it. Um, I also think like Naya, she does a really good job. At, like she shares popular books and fun, cool books books that like are you would know about pretty well but she also um gives you like underrated recommendations and I like seeing that and I like seeing those books hyped up so I appreciate that and I think she has a great personality and I enjoy watching her um I think she's very well spoken so it's really nice to see and then the last booktuber that I'm going to talk about is Kathleen for From the Love of Books. I've actually met Kathleen. Um, we met very briefly at Y'all Fest a couple years ago. I think it was my second time going to Y'all Fest. I've been to Y'all Fest three times and if you don't know what Y'all Fest is, it is a YA book festival that's typically held um, in November in Charleston, South Carolina. They're most likely not going to be doing one this year for safety concerns. Um, I know that Y'all West, which is 
the same festival but done in the West Coast in California happened virtually this year so my assumption is it'll probably happen virtually for y'all fest but I don't actually know so anyways back to Kathleen Kathleen I met at y'all fest very nice person um I think she's very sweet and she always responds to your comments on her videos um, she's a little bit of a smaller booktuber, so I wanted to include her just because I feel like she deserves more hype. Um, but I think she's very kind, and I like her recommendations, and she's very, like, she goes through a good plot summary, and then she gives a really good um, sort of reasoning for why she rates certain books the way she does. Um, she does this really cool thing, um, or at least she used to, um, I don't know if she's still doing it. I haven't watched her in a little bit, I will say. Um, but she does this really cool thing where she has books on her shelf that she hasn't doesn't know if she'd pick up on her own or anything. So she wraps them in wrapping paper and then when she does a TBR pick like kind of thing um video, she will uh she will pick a wrapped book too and she'll open it up and she'll be like, Alright, this is my wrapped book. Um, and this is one of the books I'm reading this month, which I think is just a cool idea. And honestly, I should probably do it too, because there are some books on my bookshelf that I probably won't read without uh, just randomly picking them up. But I think it's a cool idea, and I think it's a fun thing um, that she does. And um, there are other booktubers who do that, but I just I just saw it first on Kathleen's, and I thought that was a cool idea, and I liked seeing it. So I think that's just another interesting element added to her videos. And yeah, so those are five of my favorite booktubers um, for this episode of Slice of Life, and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.